Hello, Jake. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. McKenzie. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Haley. Hi. Pleasure. <clears throat> okay, so you were treated for an MI uh, in October of 2009. I'm looking at your chart here. I see that you were also brought in at the ER in July because you thought you were having another MI. Uh, you had chest pain and shortness of breath, but they did get your heart rate down with Tambacore. Yeah, that's right. So today you started having chest pain again? Yeah, and I feel like my heart was going like 100 miles per hour. Okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, how would you rate your pain? Oh, it's about an 8 or 9. Okay. He was really sweating too, doctor. And you are still currently taking the Lasix, Plavix, and Tambacore? Well, I did go off the Tambacore. Okay, so I want you to go back on it. It's really important that you follow the prescription carefully and precisely. This medicine, it helps your heart pump efficiently. Uh, it keeps your heart from going too fast or irregular. It's a sodium channel blocker that slows down the electrical conduction in your heart and gives the ventricles more time to fill up with blood. So each pump of your heart is then pumping blood to the rest of your body in a more efficient way. Does that, does that make sense? Yes, doctor, but he wasn't having any symptoms anymore, and we don't like this drug because it upsets his stomach. Yeah, I was getting backed up, too. Take a deep breath for me. I'm going to listen to your lungs. <gasps> the problem with stopping a medication on your own is that it can cause life-threatening reactions. You can go into ventricular tachycardia, your heart could speed up so fast that it throws you into ventricular fibrillation, and then you could arrest and we don't want this to happen. Wow, I didn't realize that. Many patients don't understand how important it is to take their medications as directed and talk to their doctor about side effects. I want you to start taking this at mealtime. It should help with the upset stomach. It's important that you don't take it with acidic fruit juices, especially grapefruit. The low pH of these juices will reduce the absorption of the medicine and it won't be as effective. And I will suggest prune juice to you for some relief from the constipation. Now, your blood pressure is higher than we want. You're still eating the low-sodium diet, right? Lots of fruits and vegetables, is that right? We are on the Mediterranean diet. I'm cooking really fresh, good meals for him. He hasn't been eating fast food. And I've been going to the Y four days a week. Well, that's all very good. You have lost some weight, which is really good. Keep it up. Do you have any questions for me at all? No, I think you've answered them all. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you, doctor. Okay, I don't want to see you back here in the ER. No more MIs for you, so make sure you take your medications, okay?